so there's this little alley where you can buy vegetables and fruits and nuts and seeds and sprouts and shoots and you can ask for the price with your hands and somehow everybody understands. You're not told how people get concerned you're alone and offer you shelter inside of their homes. You're not told that they'll cook you plate after plate of food and ask of your mood and tell you that you're skinny, but we can fix it. You're not told that the rich and the poor live side by side and still decide on wide-eyed communal pride for their children. They're beautiful children who have no time to sleep but still keep up to the steep pace of industrialism. You don't see the schism between the proudly political country and the people grinding under pressurized productivity. You don't see the people who, regardless, hold my hands and tell me the future is pure hope. See the teachers who won't be cowed do what's not allowed and research what they shouldn't so students have info they otherwise wouldn't. The parents who pay for their children to learn languages they themselves don't know, so their children will be safe and included anywhere they go. We can't know. The teens who cross the street with elders in hand, folding their dreams into the shape of their motherland. The strangers who don't catcall or touch me or make me feel small. The strangers who stop me because I drop my phone or don't know my way home or haven't tied my shoe or can't read the menu and stop me because they want to help me through. The new friends who say, let's share this tea and if you want more you just ask me, do you miss home? Let's go to the movies. Let's eat pizza with way too much cheese. The new friends who are tired and hopeful and still so proud. The friends who say, let me lead you into our crowd for we are a people, but we are more than our sum. We are billions of one and one and one and one. But I call you and I tell you and you say, are you okay? Did you keep yourself safe today? And I tell you I'm happy and I'm well and I'm so very sh redacted. And I tell you, turn on the news and choose something new to learn. But the anchor's pages turns and my truth is sh redacted. I want to say, yes, that exists and it's scary, and yes, that is happening and I have to be wary, and no, we cannot turn a blind eye, but try. Would you just try to wonder why we are so quick to generalize and demonize and nod our heads and turn our eyes on someone else's propaganda, when we ourselves still don't talk about shh redacted, and have not attempted to even solve our shh redacted? How can we speak the way we do when we have a hurting history of shh redacted? How can we say we know what's true when we have political feuds that make us so quick to fire and so slow to admire? What if I told you that I believe shh redacted and that I am not shh redacted and I wish you could see all the shh redacted that's here to see? I wish you weren't shh redacted and that I shh redacted and I know it's inconvenient to change. But what if we just shh redacted? Would you think about it for me?